Thank you. I'm Frank Carthizer, lead organizer of Worcester Interfaith and co-chair of the Worcester Community Labor Coalition. Uh, I'm, I'll submit this testimony, but uh, the point I want to highlight is that uh, I'm a layman. Most of us are, as Representative O'Day, most of us are not doctors, nurses, but we've all been patients. So I'm kind of a layman to this uh, system, so to speak. And my basic point is that I understand, and most of us understand now, that we have to be advocates for our loved ones, for ourselves and our loved ones in this system. We have to do that. We can't do it without the tools. The delegation has passed, as Representative O'Day said, a pretty simple, straightforward uh, law, and we need that to be posted. We need people to be aware of it. If there's a disagreement in the unit uh, about the staffing and the nurses disagree, we need to know about that as family members. We need to have all the information um, the simplicity of it, the straightforward, it's no good if we don't know what we're up against. And we have to know that to be able to advocate. Doesn't mean we're going to get what we want. Doesn't mean we're going to quote unquote win. But that's our job now. Uh, and uh, we need the tools from you to be able to know what we're up against, know what our options are, and to do our jobs on behalf of our family, loved ones, and ourselves even. Great. And um, when you, just to clarify, um, when you speak about those tools, and I think there have been um, some really superb suggestions in all of the hearings about things that we could do differently, such as posting the regulations in a, in a family and patient-friendly way, what, what other tools would you like us to consider, along with sort of uh, adding to Dr. Allen's question earlier as to providing us with real specific suggestions. Right. Uh, so if I you could talk about those tools, one, that would be helpful. Sure. One that I think of is there, from, from what I'm listening, again, I'm a, I'm a lay person in on this, but from what I understand, there could be a disagreement about the staffing level between the nurses, the administration, or whoever makes those kinds of decisions. I think I ought to know that. I ought to be aware that there was a disagreement and that this is what we've decided to do for your loved one. And, uh, you know, for me to know that and then to know the law, then uh, and uh, maybe something about my capacity to respond to that, because I'm not on the ground, but, you know, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm anxious and I'm waiting and I'm nervous and I need to understand what's happening. Okay. So something the, the posting of it, I think that the delegation said that it's a pretty simple and straightforward law. So if it's posted in the waiting room or people are made aware of it, then, then we're updated about it being used. And that it's, it's unique. It's, it's in the ICU setting. And that's the value of it and that's the need for it. Terrific. So a public education campaign of some sort. Yes, and Terrific. information, right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.